Okay, today we're going to talk about FuelPiece's new STA2. This is an induct hot wire anemometer. And what this allows you to do is to get CFM in the duct. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. It comes with a in a blow molded case. Nice foam pad inserts. And it also comes with a cone that you can attach to metal plenums to keep the wand in place. And on the STA2, you can see that it has the wand. So let's go ahead and check out the wand. Now what the wand allows you to do is to get air velocity in the duct. It has two sensors. One, the first, the top one, is the hot wire. This actually is measuring air velocity. And then we have a thermistor to measure temperature. Now other features of the wand is you'll notice that it has that flat side. The flat side will tell you that you're pointing the sensor into the airstream. So you can see as I rotate the wand, the flat side matches up with that sensor. Now other, things, other features of the wand, it has etchings on the side. You can see that three and four to let you know that you're three or four inches into the duct. This is a telescoping wand, so it goes all the way to 38 inches, and this allows you to get inside any duct size. All right, now I want to show you the display features and buttons of the STA2. So let's go ahead and first turn it on. You notice that when you first turn it on, it has a five second warm up period. And behind me, I have a eight inch duct, a little fan blowing into it to create some airflow, and the wand attached to a cone just so I get a constant airflow as I show you the features. So, first thing it has is a backlight. And you'll notice that right when, I, right when I, you turn it on, it'll have the feet per minute and the temperature in the bottom. And depending on what mode you're in, this will change. So uh, first what we have to do is to get CFM is enter in a duct size. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and press duct. And then, then it's gonna ask you if it's, you have the size of the duct or by pressing the up arrow, I can get the free, I can enter in the free area just depending on what information you have about that duct. What I have is the diameter, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to diameter, height, and width, and press enter. Then it's gonna ask me if I have a circle duct, circular duct, or a rectangular duct. And so this would be for the height and width, and the circle duct, circular duct would be for the diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter for circular duct. And then I already put in the eight inches right there, to change it, all you'd have to do is press the up arrow to the desired diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an eight diameter and press enter to lock it in. Now it's, now it's back on the feet per minute, so the uh, hot wire anemometer is reading about 270, 280 in there somewhere uh, for the feet per minute. To change modes while you're reading the feet per minute, just press the up arrow. And now I'm reading 108 CFM based on the eight inch diameter duct that I entered in. And now you'll see that it's reading 274 feet per minute in the, in the uh, bottom display. So it's just taking the feet per minute, multiplying it by the area of an eight inch diameter duct and calculating the CFM. Next mode is I can get CFM in temperature and then back to feet per minute and Fahrenheit. The main function of the STA2 is to get an accurate average CFM across the duct. The STA2 does this in a couple different ways. The first way I'm gonna show you is a timed average. So to get into record mode, you press the button above where it says record mode, it's the hold average button. So I'm just gonna press and hold that down. And then you'll see that little stopwatch blinking. That is the signal for a timed average. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to select that. And then what you're gonna see is the feet per minute as well as the uh, timer to let you know how long you've been taking measurements. You can use the up arrow to switch to temperature or to CFM and watch it uh, as it goes along. So what I'm gonna do is leave it on CFM and then stick the wand in the duct. Make sure that the flat side is pointing into the airflow. Now what you'll see is, as I just read it, read it live, you'll see that the CFM is dramatically different on the edge of the duct versus in the middle. 
So we're getting 195 CFM on the edge of the wall. And as I move it towards the middle, right in the middle, it's at 120, 130 in that range. So it's a pretty big difference. So what we want to do is make sure that we get an accurate average across the duct. So I'm going to do a start back at the edge of the wall. And then I'm going to press enter to start taking the time. And at, right when I press enter, I'm going to slowly drag the wand across. So let's go ahead and start it. So as it's starting, I'm just going to slowly drag this wand across. Make sure that the flat side stays pointed into the airflow. And just make a nice smooth pull across the duct about halfway there. As I can see with the four inches, three inches, two, one, and out. So I'm going to press stop right as, I'm, as the sensor is at the edge of the duct. So yeah, you'll see, you'll see that we're reading a, a zero CFM because we're not in the duct anymore. But to get the average, I'm just going to press average once and it'll give me an average CFM of 157 across that duct. And we did it over 23 second time span. And I can press up if I want to see my feet per minute. So an average of 450 and up again to see my average temperature. And back to average CFM. So that way we knew that we had an accurate CFM in the duct across the entire duct, not just on one side of it or in one spot. All right, now what I'm gonna show you is getting the average CFM using the point uh, method. So what I'm gonna do is press and hold the record mode button again. And it's gonna still show me that timer to, uh, for the timed average mode. To switch modes, I just press the up arrow and I can get uh, to select my point method. So it just has a little uh, point for the point method. So I'm gonna press enter to get that. All right, now it, it notifies that I'm in the point method mode uh, with that signal right, with that symbol right there. And it's reading feet per minute on the top display and number of recordings or number of points that I measured on the bottom display. Now what this allows you to do is to do it a little bit, uh, you can do it in multiple points instead of being forced to do a smooth pull off it, you can just take it in about six points. ASHRAE standards for this size of duct uh, tells you to take it in six points across the duct. So the first point it tells me to take it at is about a quarter inch. So I'm all the way into the duct at the wall at about a quarter inch and it's reading 580 feet per minute and I press enter. So that one just notifies me that I took one reading. The next reading is at one inch, so I'm going to pull the wand out until it reads seven inches and take a reading there. So at five, 500 feet per minute, that's my second reading. Next one's at about 2.5 inches out, so at 5.5 and press enter. You notice how fast it stabilizes to the, seat, to the feet per minute as I as I change positions. And then at 5.5, about there. All right. And then at seven inches, and then all the way at the edge. All right, there's six readings. And then to get my average, I just, again, press the average button. And I have an average 509 feet per minute. Average CFM of 177.6. So see, that was fairly close to the, uh, um, to the timed average. Now, ASHRAE standards for this method tells you to do that three different places across the duct. We would do it here, we would do it about a third of the way around, and then again, another third of the way around. It's just to get, so we'd actually be taking 18 measurements to get a true accurate average of the point method uh, as far as ASHRAE goes. And that is the Field Piece STA2.